We are going on a pirate ship. And I think that one right there is ours. I mean, this is a little gimmicky. You can literally smell the cheese. Cheers. Cheers. We have um, escaped the madness. Good morning. It is actually our last morning, our last day here in Sousse, Tunisia. We have explored the Medina. We have checked out El Gem, but last night we were talking to the hotel Riyadh Palms that we're staying at. And they said they actually offer a few excursions. I wasn't sure that they'd be running as it is the off season. It's December. It's still 25 degrees though, which is absolutely crazy. Um, and they said they have quad bikes. They have, what was the other one, Molly? Camels. You can go on a camel ride, but I feel like that would be better in the Sahara. And the last one was a pirate ship <laughs> cruise around the Mediterranean Sea. So we said, that's it, we're doing it. We are going on a pirate ship today. I haven't got my pirate outfit, but I am wearing my Seuss top. I, I really can't get this off. So I think it's four to five hours on a pirate ship, some lunch, maybe some beers. It's gonna be fun. We are being picked up in around half an hour, I think we're gonna be taken in a coach to the pirate port. A super quick coach ride. We've made it to the pirate port and I think that one right there is ours. There's I'm ready like, to be a pirate. There's like seven so Seven many pirate, pirate ships. ships all the way along here. <laughs> that one's ours. This is actually the port of Seuss, not the pirate port, but the only boats here are pirate ships. We're literally a two minute walk from the Medina and I think you could possibly come down here and just book as you go because there's like six or seven that all look like they're going out today. I mean, this is a little gimmicky, but I think this one is ours. <laughs> smell the cheese it is definitely a bit of a party boat we have got a falcon on here We've got beers and they're playing the pirates of the caribbean <laughs> We have stopped off now, not quite in the middle of the ocean, but we've been sailing for about an hour or so. We've had to come downstairs because it is a proper party up there. The music is very, very loud. We can see our hotel, you can see the whole coast I think that shows line. how far we've actually um, gone. We haven't nice gone cruising. very far, nice to cruise. I don't think I will be going in today, Matt. I'm not even sure we're allowed to swim. I don't oh, actually know. Really? crew are doing some serious jumps but none of the tourists have done it yet. You're gonna do not it? Me. No, no, not from up here. I'm happy being the captain. Hi sure. Sorry, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. We have um, escaped the madness that was the pirate ship <laughs> boat. It's not the easiest to film because it is just loud the whole time. In the end, there was a fire show. There was a show of a guy like laying down on a bed of nails. And um, glass. And glass. There, there was a lot going on. It's basically sort of them cheesy boats, all inclusive excursion type tours but I'm pleased we've done it because it was just I was just laughing the whole time I was hardly filming I was just <laughs> laughing, taking in all the mayhem but we are now back at the hotel there was actually lunch on the tour but we decided as lunch is by far the best of the all-inclusive that you get here at the hotel that we're staying in and they've got today these like Tunisian wrap type things what was it like that we had in Tunis Medea, a, a little bit like a Medea and it's made fresh in front of you it's and like it a looks... chapati, but it's like full of all sorts mm -hmm. and we've done really well everyone else was drinking it was like 10 in the morning we we're like 
I'm not drinking yet. I'm waiting till lunchtime, but I do need to try my. I'm gonna say it's a midia. I'm probably wrong. The chapati type thing. Oh, it's good. It's stuffed with like potatoes. Can you taste the harissa? Harissa. Some omelette. All that spicy, but the plan. Mm. This afternoon, after lunch, head down to the beach, and then we're heading to the Port El Catonia. Cantawi, Cantawi, which is like the posh area of Seuss to check out. I think it's got bars, restaurants, clubs, hotels. It's a real resort all-inclusive day today. We jumped in a quick five-minute taxi and we've made it to Port El Cantawi. And I believe it's just through this gate here, which kind of looks like the gate to Medina, like the old town walls um, that Supposedly, we've been through many times. Supposedly, this is like the high-end resort-type area of Seuss, but I have no idea because this looks like sort of a gimmicky... It's, <laughs> it's a very gimmicky day, a gimmicky old Medina. Just as you walk through those old Medina gates, it looks completely different. You've got like cobbled streets, stone, white walls everywhere. And obviously you can see the marina. It kind of looks- It's very European. European. Yeah, I think it's the cobbled streets that are doing it. Why have we only just discovered this place? Now, if I'd found this on the first night, I'd have been coming here every evening for sunset for a little walk around the marina, the whitewashed, buildings, the cobblestone streets. It looks like something that you might find in a Greek island. There's actually a catamaran. We're walking past and this guy was like, do you want to do a sunset catamaran for 20 dinar for one hour? So five pounds for an hour on a catamaran, but I'm pleased I've got changed because I don't think I would have, there's a dog fight going on. <laughs> there's a huge Rottweiler and <laughs> a tiny little chihuahua is trying to attack it. Um, we are just going to grab a drink. I'm pleased I've got changed out of my football shirt because I'll be a little bit underdressed. It's definitely the posh area. We always find the best spots when we're about to leave. It's such a shame, as Matt said, we definitely would have come here um, a few more times to watch the sunset. It just has this like perfect little glow, especially with all the palm trees everywhere. And the fishermen are coming back with their fresh catch of the day. What a shame that we don't eat fish. Cheers. Cheers. This is perfect. Draft beer, sunset, the Greek backdrop of, <laughs> of Seuss, Tunisia. The sun has set. Behind the buildings now we just have this glow over the marina and from this side you can actually see the white buildings and I get what Matt means with the cobbled streets, the white buildings looking grease like but um, it is just the perfect place to sit and watch sunset. I'm really gutted that We've this is only the just only discovered day. it. That was perfect. Sunset, beer on the marina and the perfect way to end our time in Seuss. If you are coming to the marina here, go to, let me check the name, Cafe Les Jasmines, because actually not everywhere was open and the guy in there was great. It was good fun. Good morning from Jerba Island. I know this video is a little bit all over the place. We started on a pirate ship in Seuss, which was very cheesy but very fun. I don't think I've laughed so much in forever. And then we ended up in the marina for a nice beer for sunset. The perfect way to end our time in Seuss. But then we embarked on the longest travel day we have done in a very long time. It took us nearly 10 hours to make it to the island of Jerba in the very south of Tunisia. It took two taxis, two luages, a ferry. I'll tell you more about our crazy journey in the next one but um yeah we've made it to the islands of tunisia who even knew that tunisia had paradise like islands i really didn't i'm so excited to explore this island we'll see you in the next one from gerba <laughs>